telling myself that uh, <laughs> one of these days I'm going to buy some glasses. Because <laughs> buying them at a 99 cent store, it just isn't the smartest move you can make. <laughs> oh. It gets to be a little challenging when you're constantly kind of trying to figure out what part of blind am I? <laughs> am I one part, two part, three parts blind? Then you buy some kids' glasses that are too small and you kind of make them work and you get used to seeing and then you don't want to swap. It is what it is. Oh, that's what we're doing. The Open Bible. It is what it is. Such as it is, it is. Item specific is what we do, and we look at the scriptures by reading them specifically where they're at, the way they are, what they are, as they are. In other words, if you have an open Bible or the King James Bible, you're going to probably see that you can read it along with me, or whatever Bible you're using, it doesn't really matter to me, because God, by His Holy Spirit, will make it applicable to you, whatever Bible you use. And it really doesn't matter, because God can speak if He really wants to. <clears throat> so what we do is we want to figure out how is it, in a lot of ways, that we have come to some conclusions about studying the Bible that maybe the Bible didn't say. How is it that we came to some of the ideas we have about Scripture that aren't in Scripture? Some of the most famous ones are Penny Sick, Penny Earned, and heard all those stories about how a lot of these things that are quote-unquote biblical aren't in the Bible. Sometimes that's true about life. You know, you hear about some statement about what's in the Constitution and you never read it. Or you hear about what's a law, but you can't find it. Or you base a lot of your faith upon what you were told rather than what you read. So, item specific is basically, in a nutshell, <laughs> I'm thinking of squirrels and nutshells, Item specific is simply, the Bible says what it means, it means what it says. But it's beyond that to the point of, it means what it says, where it is, as it is, the way it is. So, when we read it, that's what we see, is just what it says. Now, you could go do a Bible study, and you could go do exponential, and you could expository, and do all kinds of outlines, and this, and that, and the other thing, and you know, personal application, and we can get into all of that. But that's what other people do. Very few know how to just read it. And that's what we're doing. We're just reading it. And we're going to find that the simplicity sometimes is more complicated than the addition of what people add to or subtract from just reading the Bible. In Genesis chapter 1 is where we're at. And we've been enjoying it because we didn't see any gaps. <laughs> Oops. Oh, well, maybe it'll come up later. No comment. But where we're at is in chapter 1, verse 14 and 15. And so in reading, And God said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. And let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. And it was so. Interesting. Of course, I think everything in here is interesting. And God said, if I could really sum up everything that you know I keep finding in chapter one, would be and God said. <laughs> I mean, hey, guess what? And God said. Part of the reason why I bring it up a lot is because when people have a problem with it, the Bible. The only thing I can tell them is, and God said. What else are you going to do? Are you going to argue and debate, you know, all these ways of creationism versus Darwinism versus uniformity versus catastrophism? Are we going to get into the whole idea of evolution? Are we going to say that there were so many days and not so many days and we try to create all these different ages of days and all this other stuff? Or, can I give you a hint? 
if you just kind of like a person says, like say a little kid comes up to you and says, what about creation? You go, and they go, what, what? You go, and God said it. <laughs> God, when God said it, I think he meant it. So, somehow, I don't understand what the conflict is. You either deal with what God said, or you deal with what someone else said. Because I personally see, I'll take what God said over what man said. And whether it be creationism, or whether it be evolution, both of them are telling me what man said. I like what God said. And I like the way he said it. And I like how he said it. And God said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night. Interesting. Because before it was evening and morning. And now we have day and night being mentioned. Interesting. God said, Let there be lights. Lights. Not one. Lights. God said, Let there be. Let there be, let there be, let there be, Lord, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven. Not the firmament, but the firmament of the heaven. Because earlier we found out about firmaments. And if you go back, read it exactly what it says. And God called the firmament heaven. And God made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament. So, what's a firmament? Be careful. If you do what God said, you'll know. If you try to get into dimensionality, if you try to get into made from something to nothing, be careful. If you try to get into any other words than what the word says here in English, Frankly, I think you might get yourself in trouble. You might get into a long argument. But you know, somehow, when I use the simple read, and God said, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night, it makes sense. Okay, so there's going to be lights in the firmament of the heaven. Because we already talked about where everything else was. Of course, we never said what the firmament was. Because every time I look at it, they're talking about atoms made out of sticky matter, and then dark matter, and then unmatter, and then anti-atoms, and pro-atoms, and atomants, and <laughs> you name it. Every time they turn around, they keep telling me what the universe is made out of. And then they try to go out and find it, and they can't prove it because they can't see it. So they want to say that it's anti or maybe pro. <laughs> is there pro matter and anti matter? Or is it just matter and anti matter? It doesn't matter because God said that there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night. So God said it. God says these words, let there be lights in the front, and let them be for signs. This is still God saying it. This isn't somebody else talking and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years Ooh. so God said these things he says let there be lights in the firmament of the heavens to divide the day from the night and let there be for signs and for seasons and for days and for years wow remember God said this. Now, let's look at verse 15. Because remember, and God said, and let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. Wow. So it's for signs. First of all, he's putting lights in the firmament of the heaven. He's sticking lights up there. Wait a minute. Let there be lights. How did they get there? Are they like burning flames of generated gaseous material that seems to exist out there and it casts itself forth, you know, as some kind of light? 
<laughs> hmm. That ain't what he said. He says, let there be lights in the firmament of heaven to divide the day from the night. Okay. And then let them be for signs. And let them be for seasons and for days and years. And let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. Wow. And it was so. So you see, in verse 14 and 15, God did a lot of saying, and then it was so. I find that interesting. It doesn't say how he did it. It doesn't say when he did it. It doesn't say what he did. It just says God said. So he actually doesn't profess something and cause it to exist just because he spoke it into existence. It doesn't say that. It just says, let there be. And then it says, and it was so. It doesn't say that it came into being as he spoke it, or came into being after he spoke it or before he spoke it. None of those three. It just simply says, God said. And then it gives us what he said. And then it gives us what happened after he said it. And it was so. I kind of like that. I like the idea that it's not we who could do it, because it starts off with, and God said. Not that God had some word that could be used in order to do it. Not that God had some name that could be claimed in order to have the power to do what he did that he did. No, it just simply says, and God said. And it was so. Do you think it's complicated? I don't think so. The more that I think about it, the more that I just read it over and over again in my mind, just saying to myself, and God said, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night. I now know that God said it, that there should be lights in the heaven, that all of it isn't there by random accident, but he said, let it be, let there be, let it be. You think he was John Lennon in disguise? <laughs> or Lucy in the skies, or spirit in the skies? No, and God said, and it was so. Interesting though, it'd be fun to play with that, wouldn't it? He put the lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night. So there's a division that the lights were put there for, the day from the night. And that let them be for signs. So those lights are for signs. He didn't call them stars, did he? No, he didn't. He called them lights. Ooh, what kind of lights? Planetary? Nebulas? Solar eclipses? <laughs> Let them be for signs. For seasons. Ooh, the lights are for seasons? Huh. And for days. And for years. And it was so. And let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. And it was so. Man, I couldn't mess that up if I wanted to. Can you? <laughs> People sure seem to have a problem with it, don't they? Maybe we should just read it for what it is and accept it for what it says. <laughs>